Hey everyone, Zao202. Welcome to the bonus episode of Let's Play Boot World. Um, as you can see, it is raining outside. I'm here. I am not using my original save. No, no, no. I'm using save 13, which I think is uh, two people after me. So there might be a few changes to the world. We're going to have to go explore that. Uh, this episode's going to be me trying to find other people's houses and uh, check them out. And uh, also, you know, do a little commentary on my little episodes that you guys saw of me playing Boot World. As you can see, I'm using Fly Mike because I'm going to cheat because I don't care. Because I'm not actually playing Boot World, I'm just exploring. Also, when I find a house, if the owner of the house has uh, come forth and told me who they are, you're going to see a little name appear, like right now, explaining who that house belongs to. I'll be using everybody's uh, form name on the Fear the Boot forms. So yes, that person owns this house. I'm pretty sure it's uh, Bad Mojo. Of course, you know, I might not remember who actually owns a house because, you know, I'm going to be doing all the editing and putting names in after I've recorded this. And more people may have come forth and told me who uh, made house A or B. So, uh, yes. It's just me the texture's different. Cobbles... Is this... I mean, am I going crazy or does cobblestone look a little different? I think I might be going crazy. Maybe. Maybe. Uh, but first off, let's go check out my house. And let's bring back the sun, because I don't want to deal with no sun. So let's keep that sun on. Thank you very much. And we'll just wait for the rain to stop eventually. Fly mod. Making games lag. Right. Well, actually, now I think about it, this rain's kind of annoying, so I might as well just turn it off. Can I get that, please? There we go. And the moon? Uh-uh. No moon. Let's fast forward time real quick. And now the sun is shining. Perfect! And now we can continue to on my house. And you're wondering, you might be asking yourself, Zylo, why are we going back to your house? That's because I want to explain a few things I didn't in my original video. Uh, because I messed up massively in the fourth video and totally forgot while I was doing it that I hadn't shown you a bunch of stuff. So now this is my time to go back and explain and show you a bit more of the house in detail. Real quick. Um, first off, I did not show you guys this at all. This is my contraption I built, um, power mining cart rails and such, to get me up to the house because I was tired of swimming. Um, pretty simple. Just jump in it. You press the button. And you go up. Whee! Very fun, fun little ride. And it takes you all the way to the top of my house where you then promptly jump off, push the button again, and the cart will go back down. Very slowly, but it will. There it goes. And then here's my house. Um, I added, I extended a bunch of this uh, stone. Which you guys didn't get to see. I built this entire, entire area. Watchtower's right there. And there is the, uh, look at that. My plants are growing. Uh, that's the farm we made at the very last episode. Then there's the backyard because I w didn't want to build a big house. I didn't need it. I didn't have a need for it. So I just kept all this a backyard and you know built a little pathway, put some trees, flowers, and then my bench. So yeah, um, I can show you the mine a bit too. As you can see, the mines got a big old glass window at the top, tiny window down there. Okay, cobblestone looks different. I swear, cobblestone. Did I miss the memo? Did Am I accidentally having a texture pack on that only changes one thing? What is going on? I, I'm bugging out here. Alright, so if we go down the mine, fast forward. Okay, now we're down here. Um, besides the sound of slimes you can hear, uh, here is the massive tunnel system I spoke of before. It's freaking, freaking huge. Um, I just hit it and just kept going and going and going. There was a lot of fighting to be had in this tunnel system as I explore it real quick for you guys. Lots of fighting occurred. Luckily, I didn't record any of it because I probably would have died from the lag. So this thing's just huge. goes on forever. Tons of materials I haven't collected still.
Do do do. Fly around because I can cheat with fly mod. In fact, right here is one of the times I almost died. I got a. I think I trapped myself right here. Uh, I was hiding right here ish, and there's a skeleton trying to kill me. And uh, he almost got me too, but I dug my way out. I just locked myself in and with uh, dirt and dug out. Huge, huge cave system here. Huge. All right, but enough of this then. To the surface. Oh, they fixed that in fly mod. Curses. Um. Yes. Fly mod used to let me fly through stuff. Uh, maybe I have to go turn that on or something. Okay. The other quickest way to get up. Charge. Do 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 do. Straight hold to the surface. Because going back through the cave entrance entrance would have been too easy. Ah, there we go. What an interesting location my cave extends to. Oh, look there. There's my grave. Let's check that out real quick. Anything happened to this? Oh, there's why I actually died. And nobody jacked my armor. How convenient. Alright. So that's that. I was happy to I'm happy to explain this because I realized as I was making the video that oh my gosh, no one has any idea what this weird structure in front of my house is. And so now I have explained it to you. Be happy. Very few get an opportunity like that. Here's the glass. Okay. So without further ado, now the search begins. Alright, well to start off, only one person has given me an extremely detailed uh, map to figure out where their house is and that person would actually be as I read it off here uh, Ran so uh, allow me to read these great notes from Ran if you go to the Stonehenge and stand facing away from the shore the same side that the waterfall is on the dirt base and walk relatively straight forward maybe a little to the right you'll come to what looks like an ancient ruined building made of clean stone on a hill if you stand with your back to the tree line, facing the gently sloping valley, you should see two stone corners jutting out of the hillside across from you. To the right of those is my hobbit hole of a back door. If you follow the hillside to the left, you will curve around to a cliffside where you'll find my front door. This is all too confusing or changed since I played. Just try generally heading along the tree line, treeless valley behind the dirt road base and keep your eye on the hillside to your right and you should eventually spot the corners and or my back door okay a little less epic sounding at the end there uh yeah anywho let's move on then let's follow these instructions perfectly and we should get to her house or uh i think it's a he she her picture's a she so i'm gonna call it a she sorry if it's a he anyway so let's follow these instructions let's so if I start here, facing away from the shore, so that way, walk straight forward, a little to the right, and I need to make it to an ancient ruined building structure. So let us fly. Dun da da da, dun da da. Oh, here we go. Here's an ancient ruined building structure. All right. Um, if you stand with your back to the tree line. Facing the gently sloping valley, you should see two stone corners jutting out of a hillside. Let's face away from the tree line. Is that a stone corner? It looks like a stone corner. Two stone corners. All right, that's, that looks about right. To the right of these is the hobbit hole of a back door. Okay. Ah, look at that! May you find food and shelter here, but no spoils. This is the hobbit hole of a back door. Why are these doors offset? Weird. Alright, so here we have... Oh, she's got a doggy. Skywise Far. And Cutter Tam. Some chests with some bread... Some meat, 
arranged in various patterns of epicness. Sand walls, and oh, look at this. Yes, because, you know, a normal bed wasn't good enough. She had to go for the queen-size purple bed. And a record player. Anything in it? Oops. Oh, 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 sorry. Yikes. Anything in it? No. Nope. Okay. A um, little desk here with a reading table. Very nice, very nice. Oh, what's this? Home sweet home. Carved from stone. Nice colorful little walkway here. Paintings. Goes uh, down into a... Oh, look, a zombie in our house. Well, this isn't very safe, Ran, now is it? Not that I care, because I'm invincible with mods. Wish I had a sword, though. That would have been useful. There we go. Alright, so bigger room that's not well lit enough, apparently. Uh, there's like a chimney. That's cool. This is apparently her crafting area. Cake, books, and here's the front door, which has been left open. Probably a good reason why there's zombies in there. So you're right, this is exactly what I'm talking about. You would never see this house from any angle other than straight on. It just blends in too well. Especially that back door. I would never have found that without her instructions. Um, just a massive chest room here. Lots of lots of goodies. No, actually no goodies. Just empty chests. And then, is this a mine? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's a mine. All right, well, let's go down it real quick. Fast forward. All right, and we seem to have a glass slash adamantium floor at the very end of it. A few people may be wondering, why do I state fast forward every time I fast forward? And that's probably because I forget. It helps me remember that I need to put a fast forward there, and it warns you guys that there's going to be a fast forward. And it just looks like a mine. So it's not, I'm not going to explore the mine. Back up. Ah! I have no control. We're flying upwards. Alright, there we go. Alright, so that was uh, Rand's house. That's, that's cool. Time to find some more houses. So, uh... I won't show the search, but uh, I'll just be flying around, and if I find one, I will continue recording. Well, isn't this ironic? As I'm flying above here, I see this. An arrow pointing to, in that direction, and a house. So we found someone else's house here. Uh, I don't have any idea who this is. Uh, maybe I do while I'm making this recording. You're going to see a name pop up right there. But uh, otherwise, no idea whose house this is. But let's, uh, let's go investigate. If this, this might not even be a house. This might just be like a mob spawner or something. But no, no, I see stuff in there. It looks kind of like a house. Alright, so multi-layered glass house with lava in the middle. And then tons of supplies. Ooh. Well, it doesn't matter since this isn't canon. No matter what I do, it will not affect anybody. I'll take that sword in case I run into more zombies. So what's this? This appears to be a mine. Uh, better make sure real quick. Oh yeah, this is a mine. Radio then. All right, well, let's explore this staircase. Leads up to another floor, then another floor, then another another floor, and a gold topping to that. Very, very nice. <laughs> now, I did see this arrow out here, and it is pointing. So let's find out where this leads. Charge. 